We are back at the Fort Park Resort. This one was flying all over the place. I had to like hold it. Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Zach Silkstone. The time has finally come. After eight months, we are back at the Fort Park Resort. I'm so, so excited. Obviously, I've been so lucky. I've been able to go within the park quite a few times over this lockdown period. And that's thanks to you guys. Thanks for all of the support on those um, little behind the scenes tour videos. It's been incredible and I have you guys to thank for that. But today is finally the day. We're going in again as guests. We're going back on the ride. I haven't been on a roller coaster in so long. So today, I'm mad excited. So we're gonna head into the park, get back on the ride. And yeah, very, very excited today. Let's do it. So we are now within the park. Everyone is very excited for their day. How are you doing guys? You all right? But yeah, down on the little entrance plaza, once you've had your temperature checked and bags checked, see you later guys. You actually go and wait in a little separate queue just so that not everyone's kind of gathering on the plaza, um, obviously for social distancing reasons. But yeah, we are now within the park. It's so nice to be back and seeing the rides going. I just saw Swarm going over there. And yeah, we're gonna head into the refresh dome now. Let's go. Here we are, look at this beautiful view behind us. I won't stay here too long because there are actually signs on this fence just down there saying do not dwell. So I won't stay here too long. But you're excited to be back within the Fort Park Resort. Honestly, I feel like a kid. <laughs> I genuinely feel like how I used to come when I couldn't get to here too often. It's amazing. It's been go round. so long. What let's are you saying? Go, let's go. We can finally get on some rides. Where are we going first? The question. It would be Nemesis, but Stealth's gonna pack a punch. Now. Oh, absolutely. Just a big shout out to Russ walking across that bridge. Absolute legend he's here today. But yeah, as I said, I'm not gonna stay here too long. I think we're gonna head straight to our first ride. Just Stealth, let's go! Hi guys, you're right. So here we are at the wonderful Stealth. Now of course Stealth is one of the rides here at the park where you do have to wear a face mask. So I've got my lovely new Fort Park one on. And yeah, very excited for this. It's gonna be sick feeling that launch again after eight months of not going on this ride. I am so excited to get back on it. Look at it. Oh yes, it looks amazing. I believe they're filling like every other seat on Stealth. Oh, look at James Organ over here though. Beautiful. Big up theme park guide. That's all right. If it's an Inferno. Yeah, we'll just add an Inferno to that and it'll be better. <laughs> I'm gassed for this ride though. This is going to be so fast, so quickly. Here we go. You got your mask ready, Jess? Is that going to be staying on today or is it? Probably not. Isaac, you got your mask ready? Yeah, ready, ready for a good ride on Stealth? Are you excited? Of yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. This guy, this guy loves Colossus. <laughs> just put out an announcement saying that Stealth is going through some enhanced cleaning, obviously all COVID related. But it's been about 10, 15 minutes or so and it is back up and running again, I believe. Two trains as well, yeah. So it's looking good. <laughs> but yeah, I think there are now guests back on it. So yeah, it took about 10, 15 minutes to give the train a clean and we're back up and running. So yeah, I think we've got about 15 minutes to go before we're back on this beautiful ride. I've just had my first Fort Park ride of the season. I decided to swap my mask to this uh, just surgical one. So I was a bit worried my Fort Park one would fall off and I have to say this one was flying all over the place. I had to like hold it on the launch and at the top. But no, it was just great to get back on Stealth. Fantastic launch there. It literally felt so good to go on that again after eight months of not riding it. Do you enjoy that Jess? It's beautiful, isn't it? 
but yeah i think i'm gonna have to invest in like a proper mask keep an eye um on the channel because there might be something exciting coming with that within the next few weeks or so so that's very exciting but yeah great to get back on stealth there absolutely a beautiful ride let's see what everyone else thought of it what do you think of stealth Beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, the mask is flying all over the place. Yeah, beautiful. How was stealth, lads? Incredible. Beautiful, wasn't it? Incredible. We haven't done something that long. Yeah, legit. Like, I came with shaking. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. That was beautiful, Stevens. Did your mask stay on? Just about. It was really bad. I had to hold it at one point, but that was spectacular. I got a taste of the air. But no, it's great to get that adrenaline rush again. And yeah, we're going to head over to our next ride now. But yeah, the queue wasn't too bad. There was that like five, ten minute uh, downtime and then they did the cleaning, but it wasn't too bad at all. I'm just glad to be back on some coasters. So yeah, let's head to our next ride. What have you just seen, Archie? <laughs> Over the winter period and over the COVID period, I have been... You haven't been missing rides. No, this is not why I'm here. Not been missing rides. I have been missing one thing and one thing only, and that is the curly fries they sell in Old Town. Luke and I'm about to get myself a whole box of Honestly, at fries. Fright Nights, literally, the routine would be we'd do Creek, we'd come out, and Archie would get himself some curly fries every time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And I'll to... share them with the team. I'm a good man. Oh yeah, to be fair, he's not greedy with them. He, he shares them out. That's only because I have like three pots a night. <laughs> it's actually open, is it? Yeah, I'm gassed. I saw them. <laughs> he's skipping. He's skipping. <laughs> These are the best curly fries on the yeah, planet. Mark, to be fair. But So here we are now where Black Mirror Labyrinth was due to be opening this year. It was due to open in kind of March, um, April kind of time, but of course everything went into lockdown and the park decided to delay Black Mirror until 2021. It's a shame, but... It's for the best. I'm it's for the best, it. yeah. This is massive, this song. We're thinking like they would have had a big big sign up there look at the size of that that is huge i think it's because it's quite a hidden part of the park right? yeah like they really wanted to show it off and we know it's yes the cursed tunnel oh yes so for those of you guys that have done literally any horror maze that has been in this location obviously the most recent was living nightmare you'll know you used to queue in a disgusting pitch black tunnel it was my least favorite thing about the fright night and it's gone. It's gone it's forever. It's gone. It's nice fresh air now. So down there, is, it seems like it's open air. You'll probably still queue down there, I imagine. Down there, like yeah, this whole area seems a bit cleaned up. Well. So I imagine they got so close to literally opening Black Mirror. We had dates in to go and film in there. Yeah, and it's a big shame. And, but it's time to look forward to for next year. Absolutely. So, it's time to actually watch Black Mirror now. Yeah, you so, still haven't yeah, seen yeah, it. I yeah. still haven't yeah. seen it. Yeah. And oh no, worth the wait. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> These hit different. Different. And we'd we'll have about four bosses yep. per visit. He's a happy boy. So we've now headed over to Swarm Island. It's actually mad, we've literally done one ride so far today, but it's just nice to be back, isn't it? It's lovely to be it's back. It's nice to be back. Great we've been, have some food. been having some great chats, spoke to loads of you guys, it's been lovely. And yeah, we're now hopefully gonna go on Swarm, aren't we? Oh, oh yeah. Take a look, see if you can spot it. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a new fence at the Swarm. Oh yeah. What do you think of it? I don't know, it's obviously done for ride safety. And we've got another new change over here. <laughs> Not a great one. All the water's gone. I don't know if that's just because they haven't had the chance to refill it yet, but that looks really strange to be fair. 
And I believe because of the way the swarm trains have been designed, every row can be filled because they're all um, an appropriate distance away. So hopefully the throughput should be really good on the swarm. The queue doesn't look too bad at all. So we managed to get two rides on the swarm there. There's literally no queue for that because as I said, every single row of that ride is being used meaning the throughput is really really good nice to get back on the swarm though isn't it it's lovely two train operation going fast. straight on yeah straight on. and my mask was fine on that ride yeah, completely fine. fine stealth it was everywhere but well i think this um literally as soon as we got off they announced they were doing the covid cleaning so i think they just sent an empty train there does anyone else black out um just on that zero g roll there just there. Every time I go on this ride, my eyes go a bit fuzzy. But yeah, really enjoyed getting back on the swarm. Do you like that? Absolutely loved it. Like yeah. That, that place on the road. Do you black out as well? Oh, bedtime stories, bro. Yeah, <laughs> bedtime stories. Do you like that, Jess? Yeah. Beautiful. Favorite Your favourite ride? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> say. Yeah, great to get back on the swarm. And I think swarm might have opened now because it was having some um, problems this morning, which is expected. Today is the, technically the first day of the season. Um, so I think we might try and head over there now. So we're now in Wilderness, just having a bit of lunch. We've got a beautiful view of Ghost Train over in the background. Interestingly, Ghost Train isn't actually open today. We kind of expected that with it being an indoor ride, it would be very hard to um, maintain social distancing and stuff. There are actually quite a few rides that are closed here at the park, and I believe what the park are doing is they're kind of doing a phased opening. So phase one today and for the next week or so, I believe, they've got the major coasters open, they've got a few flat rides, um, and then I believe within the next few weeks they will start to get phase two, phase three rides open, such as Rumba Rapids, which is closed today. A lot of the old town, like Rocky Express, Timber Tug, Lumber Jump closed. Um, so yeah, I think over time they'll get those kind of rides open and then I think eventually, hopefully, they'll get the likes of um, Ghost Train, the Walking Dead, the ride open, which are obviously the hardest, so they'll be last. But yeah, at the moment, there is a nice little ride selection. It's definitely enough to fill your day. You should be able to get on all of the rides nice and easily. So we are now heading on to Saw, guys. Let's go. So we've just had a ride on Saw there. Really, really enjoyed getting back on that. Oh, that was great. Honestly, the mask, a bit iffy on that. <laughs> no, mine was all right on that one. Stevens out was stapled so bad. I genuinely think that was probably my, uh, just behind Stealth, I think that was my favorite coaster of the day oh, though. Like, the see, drop felt so, so the nice. The platform was nice to see. Yeah, the platform so tunnels over there. Yeah, yeah oh, that's great. nice. Incredible. Yeah, I really, really like getting back on Saw. Like, the drops just felt so much and better where, after that eight month break. Where is the ketchup packet? Where's the ketchup? Where it's gone, the iconic ketchup packet. But a lot of the effects inside that were working. Different. Oh were yeah, working. Do you like yeah. It? So yeah, really, really enjoyed getting back on the tour. Beautiful ride. Yeah, I'd say that's just by stealth. That was my favourite coaster of the day. We have just filmed a very, very fun video. I'm sure a lot of you will be able to guess what it is. That'll be coming out to a channel soon. But um, yeah, lovely Helen Ball has just informed us that that helicopter up there is Sky News. So that's pretty cool. You, you guys have already been on Sky News today. Yeah, it's been like that. I heard it was a recon drone behind us. A recon? <laughs> that was a UAV. It's a jump Oh no, 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 no. Wait, is he actually getting some? Right, so quickly, just behind this on camera. Every you time we're going to, we finally decide to go and do something, we're standing for like 10 minutes. The time we go and actually decide to do it, he does an Archie, which is where you go and buy some food. Just before we're about to go do something. <laughs> Make this clear, he does an Archie Steven. Archie, <laughs> Archie Stevens. Archie Stevens. I don't do this. <laughs> I honestly thought he was joking when he went over there just playing off for the camera, but he's actually getting some curly fries. <laughs> yeah. 
So Archie, you've got yourself a little crush in there. First Very nice. And of course behind you, we've got the brand new um, vegan, vegetarian food outlet. Alumi. Alumi, yes. Luca um, will be there. <laughs> and now we're heading over to Samurai. So we've just had a ride on Samurai there. Boy. <laughs> You need to edit like stars around my eyes. <laughs> Honestly, that was a bit mad. I, all I heard from this guy was, nah, allow it, allow it, nah, fam. It kept going, it was stopped the whole ride. That was a very it, so long cycle. Carry on again. Genuinely, Samurai, one of my favourite flat rides. It's a tie between this and Rush, I think. And unfortunately, Rush isn't open today, but that was insane. Every time I ride that, it gets yeah. better. That's we so did intense. It we did it twice in a row. That second time was way more intense, but like after that, I think I got bruises. But <laughs> it's mad. It's, it's the best flat ride here that's open right now. Yeah, great ride. Did you enjoy that, Jess? It was very long though. I like, very I long. It was ending, and then it, just it like calms down, and then it carries on. But it teases you. Yeah, it teases you. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna slow you down a little bit. And then no, again. no, I love it. I love it. I love it, man. Are you crazy, dog? Yeah, fantastic little flat ride there. So we are now heading on to Detonator, which is, in my opinion, the scariest ride on park. There's just something about that dropping feeling. Your stomach literally sinks. Um, but we're doing it nonetheless. We haven't been on these rides for eight months, so I'll take any opportunity for a thrill. And yeah, look at it. Absolutely terrifying ride. So we have just come off of Detonator. I stand by the fact that that is the scariest ride in the park. Luca also did us filthy. The operator kept us up there for ages. An announcement comes on saying, the attention riders, the gondola is about to be released and then we dropped. Terrifying, so not happy with Luca Gigabyte. Scary ride, isn't it? Terrifying ride. Far too long. Far too long. You like it though, somehow. I love drop rides. <laughs> Absolutely not. Literally, my stomach is still up there. Oh, hello, boys! <laughs> So, Swarm was getting cleaned and it was taking a while, which isn't a problem at all, but we want our last ride to be either on Stealth or Inferno. So, we're heading over oh, there, basically. <laughs> um, we've got like six minutes until the park closes, so we've got to be quick. Is it time? 54. 54. So we've got six minutes to either get to Stealth, which I think is delayed, so we'll probably end up going to Nemesis, which I don't have a problem with at all because we haven't done it today. But it was great to see Luca over at Swarm. Um, right, got some catching up to do, let's go. This is your last chance to ride last the Nemesis in <laughs> well, I'm going on the front row. <laughs> So we just had a lovely front row ride on Nemesis to end our day off. It was so, so worth leaving the swarm and heading over here. Big that was an insane ride. Yeah, big bigger, bigger. <laughs> um, everyone on Nemesis was doing so well. Like they had the whole um, face mask and spiders, and it seems like they were releasing the bars like one at a time. So I that. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, beautiful front row ride there on Nemesis. Steven, has that swayed you? Better than Nemesis. No comment on either, either or, but I love that ride. Fantastic ride. <laughs> he prefers Inferno. I can tell. I can tell. He said it on the ride, I swear. <laughs> 
That was a great ride. It was. So that brings us to the end of our day here at Fort Park. Honestly, it has been so nice getting back. Not even just being on the ride, just seeing so many friends and friendly faces again. It's been fantastic. Honestly, the park have done so well. Everything seems to be running really smoothly. The rides are being cleaned really well. And yeah, very, very impressed. I'm super excited to head to all of the other theme parks now that they're open. But yeah, thank you all very much for watching this video. If you aren't subscribed, then feel free to do so. I vlog at so many theme parks. Um, and yeah, if you have enjoyed this video, a thumbs up would be greatly appreciated. Um, normally I'd put everyone who was in this video's links in the description, but honestly, there's been so many people, so you, you know who they all are. But um, yeah, thank you all so much for watching this video. It's great to be back at the theme parks. My name is Jack Silkstone. Goodbye. Nah, I ain't feeling that, you never proved me back You never did jack, hold that I think I'm way, but I'm definitely not sure I'm never washed up, I know I got more Painting pictures with words, top drawer Trying to find the middle ground is a lost cause yeah.